Hey guys, it's Pingu here with part 4 of the Door Fortress tutorial. Now, I had already done part 4 through 6, but I've decided to redo them um, because I thought they were lacking in quality and uh, I was a bit overwhelmed with all the, the new subscribers and uh, whatnot that uh, came in that uh, I need to redo do 5 and 6 and might as well do 4 because uh, I've noticed they're a bit slow and a bit more watching the mundane task of setting up a fortress now. But uh, I want to show you the important stuff, and not just which individual workshop uh, to, to use while I, I individually dig out uh, their area. So as I'm talking, I've already designated a, uh, a, a workshop to build, build out. Uh, we're going to follow up with a lot more, a lot more uh, area to build workshops. But uh, we haven't built a mason's workshop yet. It's probably the most important workshop out of all, um, because we use this newfound stone in uh, order to, to to make a lot of the uh, furniture in the, the fortress and a lot, a lot of the vital uh, components. Now we've hit some iron as well which is good. Um, it says Fe uh, which means it's a uh, iron ore so it can be smelted into iron once we uh, get there but uh, let's build the masons workshop BW and uh, go down to mason which is M and just build it wherever we uh, what's that's be while that's being built, uh, we have two types of stone that a mason can use. We have a uh, we have a bit of a uh, chalk and uh, gypsum. By default, he's not allowed to use the gypsum, and neither is a and nobody is except for making powder. Uh, that's just by default because it's somewhat of a an uncommon resource. But uh, for us, we have a lot of it right now, and if anything, it's less valuable than chalk. So hit Z to go to the status menu. Um, go to the stone tab and scroll down. We want to find gypsum. Now, here's gypsum plaster is the the byproduct, but we want to find actual gypsum. And uh, all these stones, the the ones marked in red, are not allowed to be used by dwarves. But we found gypsum. Hit enter. Now it's green, which means they can use it for uh, for uh, whatever purposes the dwarves have. Uh, the mason's workshops up. And we want to build a few things from from this. Uh, it works just like the other uh, workshops. You hit A to add a task, and uh, and there's a few things here. There uh, is only one page versus the well. The carpentry's workshop has two, but but these are very important. Uh, we want to make two doors, or uh, four doors actually. Uh, so hit A. Yeah, uh, no, just two, just two. Sorry, <laughs> just two for now. A D and A D to make doors. We want to make some uh, thrones, which are just chairs. So A C. Oops, sorry. AC, AC, uh, AC, AC. What was that? I want to make some tables. Uh, so AT, 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 AT. I got confused because it's already in the A menu. So I'm hitting A to make armor stands, and uh, and he will go about working on those now, Mason. And while that's happening, I actually want to designate some more workshop area, and uh, I will. I will do this. I will unpause the video in a, in, a, in a second, and you guys won't notice the difference. But it doesn't need to be exactly the same as mine. But you want to just keep building a few workshops like this, and I'm going to eventually loop them around in a circle. Like this. <laughs> um, so I've just uh, constructed an area and uh, a few workshops. It doesn't need to be the same. Like I said, I I really like this shape just because you can have two workshops next to each other. And uh, it to uh, a hallway just for for a stockpile, so I could even set a stockpile of stone, and, uh, and put it right in front of our mason's workshop here, or, or even around the corner. And our dwarfs will go and uh, and take any stone they find and put it there. But you can see he hasn't even started on those doors there. Um, while this is happening, while this is being uh, constructed, we actually need to have a bit more building to do. Now this tutorial is really more about setting up the fortress for uh, for later on and uh, we need a meeting hall we need a place for our dwarfs to congregate they, they, they right now they just use the wagon outside but that's uh, not ideal it's dangerous um, they can get attacked but uh, also they're pretty useless out there like it whenever there's a task it will take them uh, years just to, to get down into the cave to start doing it now I've built out uh, an area there for the for the meeting hall, and I'm making little rooms as well, uh, just just a few bedrooms, uh, just to give you an I idea of uh, some adequate uh, bedroom shapes. Don't want that. And uh, and one, with these uh, bedrooms coming up, 
we want to also make some beds and then at this point we're, we're just making some furniture to accommodate uh, our dwarves. So that's why we made the uh, the tables and the doors down here. We're using that for the workshop. And uh, eventually we're going to want some uh, some beds out of the carpenter's workshop. He's making barrels. I should have cancelled them earlier because now we've got a lot of empty barrels. So we're going to hit C to cancel that. Hit A. And we want a bed. So you can scroll down the bed. And uh, I should have mentioned, I, I my, my annotation should uh, say this, but use the plus and the minus keys to scroll through every menu on this right here. You don't use the arrow keys. That will move your cursor. The plus and the minus keys will, will go through all the options, but we want bed for B. And we will make, I forget how many beds there are, I think there are eight that we will need. Uh, for now, a door is fine sleeping on the floor, but they can't do it for uh, forever. We need to accommodate them at some point. Um, and while this is waiting, I am going to pause the video and skip the video. But I said I've been talking about these purple skeletons for a while now. They, they take up you know, they, they're, they're easy to look at, like, you can just be like, oh, going around, oh, there's purple skeletons, uh, that's ominous, but uh, they will stink up the place, but there's actually a bug right now, and vermin skeletons do not do this. Uh, any other type of skeleton will, but vermin, just for this version, does not um, cause any sort of refuse uh, pileup. Um, so what we, we want to do is uh, just make a stockpile, just in case, uh, hit P, and then R for refuse, and uh, and just designate any place. I I like to do it above ground, just so. Uh, well, I mean it has to be outside, but I like to do it one level above our uh, a fortress entrance, just because it looks a bit better. You're not looking at these purple skeletons, but any idle dwarfs should uh, go and take the skeletons up there. Now I'm going to skip ahead and let them mine this out. While they're mining out, you can. Uh, any of the, the finished areas, you can build some workshops, say go to BW and let's build a uh, a, hmm, a butcher's workshop and uh, just see what they do. I mean, you won't actually find what the butcher's workshop does and you can make it out of gypsum now because I've uh, enabled it. It'll be a, a yellow workshop. But uh, try just experiment. Uh, look up individual workshops if you don't know what they do. Or look up individual professions. Um, although the professions will be coming a bit later when a migrant wave comes in and it probably will uh, so skip to the next part of the video when your migrants do come because we'll be covering them then they, they can come at any time so I can't guarantee it but uh, and uh, also hit Z and make sure you don't run out of alcohol please don't or, or food please don't don't die right now uh, brew some drinks if you need to I think I've got, I must have got my, uh, no I don't have him on repeat, but you can just have him on repeat because we've got more than enough plants here and uh, more than enough barrels, just empty barrels sitting here. So brew more than you need and uh, we'll get a kitchen up uh, soon enough so we won't have to worry about food anymore. Uh, but I guess that's all for this lesson. Uh, the next one will start when the, the migrant wave comes, if it comes, and uh, or when uh, they finish out mining this. Hopefully the migrant wave because uh, they can come at any time and Really, I don't want you to have a migrant uh, come and I cover them uh, two parts ahead in the lesson. So uh, it, it really shows you if you're fast or slow compared to me. Um, but that's all for now.